What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam here with Turtle Guard Tournaments and I'm here to go over fast submissions. With Map Monsters 3 coming up, I'm going to be giving out 24 different hammers for fastest submission of the day. That's across all age brackets, adults, kids, gi and no gi. And how do you win one of these hammers? Well, you gotta get fastest submission of the day. So start training some quick submissions, things that you can hit right off the bat. But to help you out, I'm gonna start going over some fast submissions, submissions that you can hit quick right off the bat that will give you a fighting chance to take home one of the hammers. So here we go, let's get started, let's practice a fast submission. So in this video, we're gonna work a standing guillotine. Now the standing guillotine can be done one of a couple different ways. You can either finish it from standing or you can transition to the ground and finish the guillotine on the ground. A lot of times when standing guillotines happen, they usually happen off the shot. So if somebody shoots in, let's say for a double, a lot of times you can lock up a guillotine as the person shoots in. The only downside is you can't force them to always shoot. So it's dependent on whether or not they take the shot. You can, however, bait the shot. So if you open up your stance or if you put your leg in front, you can make it more enticing for a person to want to shoot in on you therefore giving you more of a chance to actually work those guillotines off the shot. But if you wanna force the guillotine, it's good to try to do it off of the clinch. So we're gonna step in and we're gonna clinch. We're gonna control the wrist and get that necktie. Once we get that necktie, we're gonna step back and lower our level, which is gonna bring their level down as well. Then I'm gonna come back up, allowing me to get on top and wrap up the neck. As I wrap up, I'm going to bring my hand up as high to my chest as possible, wrapping up the neck as much as possible. Then I'm going to make a fist, and my other hand is going to scoop that fist and hold it tight to my body. Now to finish it from standing, I'm going to straighten my body up, walk into them, thrust my hips forward, lean back, and pull straight up on the guillotine. Now while you are allowed to hit standing guillotines at turtle guard, you're not allowed to lift the person off the ground. Their feet cannot come off the mat when you're hitting a standing guillotine. Now, if you're worried that you can't finish the guillotine while standing or you're having difficulty finishing it while standing, that's when we're going to pull guard. So again, clinch, lower their level, come up on top and wrap up the neck for the guillotine. Make a fist, lock it up. Now, once you have the guillotine, there's a couple different ways that you can throw guard. You could jump guard onto the person and lay back, bringing them into your close guard. But if you don't like jumping guard, then you can sit down and throw close guard. You could also sit down to half guard, which is sometimes easier to lock up, but the choke isn't quite as strong. You could also sit down to butterfly guard, which is much easier to get, but that's going to allow the person to flip. So if you're looking to sweep with the guillotine, butterfly guard is a good option. So if we want to hit that close guard and we want to sit into it, we're going to step in, widen our feet and then sit straight down as close to them as possible, bringing our legs up to lock up that closed guard. Once you get them in that guillotine position, in order to apply full pressure, you're gonna cross your ankles and stretch your legs out while at the same time squeezing and choking. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. More fast submissions are coming. Keep training hard and we're gonna see you at the tournament.